Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the achievement Tuning Marasmus' Television or something like that. Uh, I'm going to be showing you two ways to do it. I'm going to be showing you how to do it with normal people, with friends, maybe on a casual server. Or to how to find an empty server of the past time. And the second way I'm going to show you how to do it is with bots on like a single player server. So you don't really need anybody to do this. And you can just like put in a bunch of commands and you have it done. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get the achievement on a public server or, or a casual server or community server, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it works on community servers, by the way. And uh, to do with other players. I suggest you do this because it feels much more, like, much more uh, rewarding. Like, you feel accomplished when you do this. It's just satisfying. Especially when you do it on a normal pub server where there's people trying to fuck you up, like I did it. Uh, it took me over an hour to do it, but like it was well worth it. Uh, if you don't want to do it on a pub server, you can host your own server, and I'll have a tutorial up on that in the description on how to host your own server in Team Fortress 2 in, with the new update, since you can't just press the plus sign anymore since it's gone. Or you can reserve a server on a website, which I'll link in the description below, which I'm showing you a picture now, where you can host a public server for two hours and uh, have anybody play on it, so you could use it for this and uh, get nine people on the server uh, to uh, play and actually do the achievement. But now I'm going to show you how to actually do the uh, achievement and how to open the door. So first I'm going to go to spawn and show you that there's a private uh, door called private which is, um, which is closed right now because we actually haven't opened it. So I'm going to move to red spawn, and right here, this is spawn, and it's the exact same on blue spawn, so like usually you spawn here. If you go uh, down this ramp and uh, take it right here, you'll see a door called private. You can't go through it, and it's not open right now, but you can open it, and I'm going to show you how you open it now. So uh, if my uh, blue spy would stop jumping around like a lunatic and come over to where I am, you should have red side, me okay. the lovely assistant. Okay. No, not really at all. So basically there's a guitar here on red side. And don't shoot me. Uh, so like this is the middle, so you should be able to orientate from uh, here. So this is the red side, and there's like chain link fence right here, and it's to the left, and there's a guitar right here. Uh, so you're gonna have just any type of player to stand right beside this banjo, basically on top of the banjo, to open a door, a secret goal on blue side. So uh, he's just going to stand right here, taunt as much as he wants, and I'm going to run over to blue side and see if uh, a goal is open. Uh, yeah, right there. That usually is closed. There's usually nothing there. There's usually just a blank wall there. You see right now that there's a blank wall there because Nikita moved away from the banjo and just moved into it, and it opens back up. So if I throw a ball into this, it d disappears. Nobody gets any points. Uh, the ball is going to just respawn normally, but now that private door that I was showing you beforehand is open So you can go through it and go into Marasmus's lounge. That's what I think it is So I'm gonna go uh, into the thing and the key you should go to it as well uh, So basically here I'm in red spawn again, and I'm going over to that private door again So right here it is now this time it's open as you can see and there's a spinning teleporter inside so if you step on the teleport, you get teleported to Marasmus' lounge. And here you have like loads of random shit, candles, a TV with Marasmus' skull on it, and uh, some potion bottles. So now what you have to do is you see the uh, TV is not on at all, and the uh, plug is flashing behind it. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to shoot the plug. Let me try to do that again. So you shoot the plug and you see it fell off right there. The plug fell off and now the TV is scrambling. It's like... Uh, uh, static and yeah so all you have to do is just shoot that plug with any uh, hit scan weapon and it will fall over uh, fall off the plug and the TV will start uh, scrambling so now what you have to do is you see all these dirt patches you can have to get a certain certain players to stand on these dirt patches so it's counted like this this is number one this is number two this is number three this is number four and number five number six number seven number eight number nine so Number one is the scout. A blue scout must stand right on this dirt patch. So basically, if you want to stand on dirt patch, just make sure you're looking at it and that you're standing on it. And don't taunt while you're doing this, otherwise it will not work. Um, 
And don't worry, I will show an example of this working later, but I'm going to show it with bots and the commands and how to get the bots here. But right now I'm just going to tell you what you have to do. And I'll put a picture up on screen just so you know the number positioned right now. Okay, you can pause the video to see that uh, uh, picture again. But next is Blue Demo has to stand on this point right here. Oh, we have the spy right here. Uh, so Blue Demo right here. Then we have a red soldier, and make sure you have the right teams. A red soldier standing right beside the pillow right here. Then you have to have a red heavy standing right here. It's important to have, I get the same classes. And you just turn into a demo. Um, red heavy standing right here. You have to have a blue NG standing right there. Then you have to have uh, a blue uh, red medic standing right here. And then, you have to have a red sniper standing on this dirt patch, and then a blue spy standing on this blue patch, and a red pyro standing on that, um, not blue patch, dirt patch. So, uh, when you do that, Marasmus, Marasmus' TV should turn on, showing you the jack, and you'll be able to see, um, you'll be, get the achievement, and you'll basically get this hat right here, which I actually haven't shown in the video yet. Uh, if I can find it right there, the, uh, the military grey jack which looks like this and all the classes, I'm currently wearing it on my medic, if you are wondering, and uh, that's what it looks like. But anyway, I think I'm going to go and show you the bot version of it now, how you can do this by yourself without anybody and using a lot of concept plans. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to actually do this by yourself with bots, using console commands, bringing the bots in a special position, and this will give you the achievement as well. So first of all, you're gonna have to make your own server. Now you can't make your own server like you used to before, because uh, Team Fortress 2 changed it, and now there's no like add server button or like make server button. So what you have to do now is do it through your console. So first, to activate your console, you go to Options, Advanced, and now Enable co Developer Consoles. Right there, you just take it, take it, and that's all. Now to uh, get up the uh, developer console, with the button underneath the escape, also known as the tilde, uh, you click that and your console comes up. So to make your own server, you just type in map, space, pass, brickyard. Now, the pass brickyard is just the name of the map we're using for this, because obviously that's the map where the achievement is on, but you can do this with any other map, like PL Upward, or uh, Final Frontier, or any of those. So I'm gonna go Red Soldier because that's where I'm gonna be connected to. I just lost a uh, connection to the item server, but that is okay for whatever reason. Well, I was having some problems. Um, so now we're gonna have to enable SV cheats on. So we're gonna do that. SV underscore cheats one. So if you enable that, that's your cheats enabled. So now I can do things like go into no clip. There we go. Fly around. Um, but now we have to like make make sure the the teams are uh, un uh, are have no unbalanced limit. So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna copy and paste this command into it. So by the way, you can get all these commands in the description below or into a Reddit link in the description below. The Reddit link is where I got all these commands and where I found out how to do this with the bots. So all credit for these commands goes to the guy who made the Reddit link. So uh, I'm gonna uh, copy and paste this in so this makes sure that the teams can like be whatever number they want to be so if they want to be 24 to 1 or 23 to 1 they can be so now I've just done that so now I'm gonna go and um, spawn in all the bots I need. now we have to put in this before we put uh, spawn in the bots uh, which makes the bots keep their class after their death then we're gonna put in another command which is going to make them only be able to use their melee weapons. But you do this and okay. So now every class, all these bots will only be able to melee. So you're going to have to minimize and copy and paste these things in. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to spawn in the first bot, which is a red medic who spawned in right here. I'm not going to spawn in the red soldier, which is lol2 because uh, I am the red soldier and I want to actually uh, to, for you to see the uh, achievement from my perspective I've already done the achievement so you actually won't see the achievement come up on my screen but uh, I just want to show you how the TV turns on but anyway we're gonna go ahead and skip the soldier and 
copy and paste this next command in we're spawning in a red pyro so by the way if you can't uh, copy and paste these things in you can obviously see them from uh, the video and type them in but like it'd be pretty hard to type this in because these are a lot of commands and yeah this time it's gonna be blue team since we're already done red team if you already saw the first part of the video you would know that there's a certain layout that you have to put uh, these uh, classes in and a certain way you have to uh, certain class you have to put them in a certain, so, so a certain team they have to be in. It's like real complicated, and I don't know how the first people to figure this out figured it out. I think they just went data searching and like looked through the code of the game to find out. Uh, but now we're spawning in the blue spy. Now we're spawning in the blue demo man. Now we're spawning in the last class, which is the blue engineer. So all the classes that we need are here. So next step is actually opening the door. Eh, eh, where is it? Where is the TV? Now, I'm gonna show you where the TV is now. So basically, there's a red banjo on red side. You would know this if you watched the first half of the video. Uh, but you have to have people stand here to open the actual uh, secret goal on the other side. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just teleport all the red players over to here. So they just trigger this uh, uh this i don't know whatever this is called the sprite or something to uh, activate so we're gonna have to put a command in all like three commands in at once because uh, if we don't if you put all these commands in one by one what will happen is your achievements on this server will be turned off i don't know just to like stop people from actually getting in getting a load of things by uh cheating but first we're gonna do this so We've just warped all of red team over here, so now they've just uh, standing at the banjo. I'm gonna go get the jack, and I'm gonna go and uh, activate uh, the door, or open the door, rather. Okay, so the secret goal is open, I'm throwing it in there, and there we go. Now it is open. So I'm gonna go back to base. Oh, please don't die. Okay, that was close. And I'm gonna go into the secret room. Okay, so as you see, the private door is open now, the teleporter is spinning, and we're here in Marasmus's secret room. So now, next step is we're gonna have to actually unplug the television, and you have to hit that with a hit scan weapon. Um, and I just realized that I can't do that with uh, an axe. I wonder if I can do it with a rocket launcher. Yes, I can. So uh, you basically just have to attack this with a ranged weapon, not a hit scan weapon. And uh, it will take off the plug and now it's going to start staticking. But before you teleport everybody else in, you're going to first have to put in a command that makes the bots blind, basically. So they can't... Um, they can't attack each other. Otherwise, if you don't do this, they're just going to go attack each other as soon as you teleport them in. It's going to be a clusterfuck. Uh, so you have to put this uh, command in. It's also in one line so your achievements don't get disabled. As I said, you can get this from the description below or uh, from uh, the reddit link in the description. Now I'm going to teleport in the classes. Make sure if you're playing as one of these classes to not teleport in your class that you are using. But first we're going to teleport uh, the scout into his position, he's uh, standing above his dirt mark where he's supposed to be. We're going to teleport everybody else in as well. Okay, so the demo man is in his position. <laughs> okay, so the heavy is in his position. Okay, so the NG is in his position. The medic is in his position. The sniper is in his position now. The pyro is in his position. And now the spy is in this position. Okay, so the, that's not a spy, that's an NG, but that's because the spy has uh, disguised himself. Uh, so now all I have to do is step in my position. As you can see, since uh, I put some players into their position, the TV started scrambling, showing you the jack. Um, before that, it was static, but now I'm going to get into my position. And there we go! It's done. The TV has been... Um... Uh, how do I say tuned yes that's the word tuned and now it's showing uh, the throwback jack coming 37th of uh, May 37th I'm guessing that's next year it's probably gonna be another um, update in uh, May 37th wait what oh, May 37th there is no 37th okay this must be some kind of troll but uh, there the TV is tuned 
So um, now everybody's attacking and I'm gonna kill every motherfucker in this base. Uh, yeah. I have no idea why that happened, but like it worked. So I didn't get the achievement there because uh, I already have the achievement. And these bots didn't get the achievements because they are bots. It's coming May 37 or E, so it might not be uh, uh, it might not be the actual uh, date. Warning. Munition class C7, not for use. Amateur matches. Whatever this is, I have no idea. It's probably like hinting at a future update. Uh, it's pretty cool though, but like I'm actually, uh, it's pretty cool that they did this whole thing. But you should have gotten the military grade jack, which I think is going to be a pretty rare achievement item because it is the hardest achievement item to get in the game. There it is, inspect the item, how it looks in all the classes. I'm personally wearing it for my medic because it looks good with the pr practitioner's processing masks uh, because they're both robotic and it looks cool as well. In my opinion, anyway. Uh, so now you know how to do this. If this doesn't work for you, make sure you follow my steps, literally step by step. Make sure you have everything right because if it didn't work, you're obviously doing something wrong. Uh, so that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave a like if you want more tutorials like this, and uh, please leave, uh, please subscribe if you want to see these tutorials uh, which I upload in the future. And uh, that's all I have to say. See ya.